सो एज पर ग्लोबल बर्डन ऑफ डिजीज और ग्लोबल एनालिसिस विच एस कंट्रीज ऑन एच डी टी हेल्थ परफॉर्मेंस इंडिया रैंक्स वन फोर्टी थ्री आउट ऑफ वन एटी एट एज पर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टाइज रिसेंट डेटा वी हैव बिहाइंड कंट्रीज लाइक श्रीलंका चाइना इवन वॉर टोन सीरिया एंड इराक दैट्स द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ हेल्थ एज ऑफ नाउ इन इंडिया सो दैट्स वाई वी नीड बजट्स टू शो द रियल प्रायोरिटीज ऑफ आर गवर्नमेंट सो इट इज इसेंशियल टू परफॉर्म टाइमली एनालिसिस टू ट्रैक प्रोग्रेस ऑफ वेरियस की पब्लिक हेल्थ इंडिकेटर्स एट वेरियस टीयर्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एट वेरियस जियोग्राफीज बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली बजट आर हार्ड टू कंज्यूम एंड डिफिकल्ट टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड दिस इज वॉट यू गेट फॉर बैंगलोर दिस इज द बी बी एम पी बजट एंड दिस इज द कर्नाटक स्टेट गवर्नमेंट बजट दैट्स वाई वी स्टार्ट द इनिशिएटिव ओपन बैट्स इंडिया वे आर वी ट्राई टू मेक बजट्स मोर इजीली अवेलेबल ओपन एंड ईजी टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड so this is all what we provide uh we provide approximately 5.4k data sets from 334 budget sources uh we provide key features like budget documents and pdfs the way they are published uh we provide machine readable data sets uh, csvs for almost half of the budgets we provide data visualizations uh time series analysis at various tiers of government we also provide budget basics where people who are not so uh, budget aware can pick up things from there and eventually start learning more about how to track budgets uh budget data sets are available at three tiers of government and also the combined budget level the union and the states and our priority has been these 12 sectors uh and one of them is health so this is about open bench india so this was a tool we built earlier this year this helps you track uh, union government's investment on key attributes uh, related to health uh, let's have a look into it so what you're seeing is total expenditure of ministry of health and family welfare as percentage of gdp in the morning there was some discussion that it should be more than 1% of the gdp but currently the union ministry's expenditure is just 0.29 that's where we stand as of now also there are some few highlights from this year's budget the major ones are there is an action plan to eliminate kal hazar and filariasis by 2017 leprosy by 2018 measles by 2020 and tuberculosis by 2025 uh there is an increase in uh, budget overall that which is by 27% from last year's budget estimates so we expect uh that our ministries invest the similar kind of budget in the coming years too also you can go through the several key highlights here these are the priorities and there are so many uh specific schemes we are talking about here uh so there was lots of discussion on ayush so how much investment ayush is doing so you can see there is a huge increase in recent years with the change of government also if you see national health mission there is a subsequent increase over the course i would move now to another tool which we have built so far You can explore this. This is this is on Union Budget 2017.cbjindia.org. That's the URL. He also built Story Generator with collaboration uh, of Data Kind. Uh, this is a tool which helps you enable to compare uh, important budget indicators in various sectors for across the states across the years. And this data is being aggregated. automatically as well as manually because this data is very difficult to call out so still it's a semi automated version uh you can look into it in the total state expenditure we were on the level 2 of the color code but when it comes to 
total state expenditure as percentage of budget we become lighter upper so karnataka is just investing approximately 4% of their budget on health 4% of the total budget on health also we have comparisons as per capita per capita means the approximate population count of that particular state so we are again in the very light zone where we are just investing 1010.5 rupees crore per capita now uh, this is very uh, high level picture of what's happening in the health sector in india but suppose i want to deep down and really understand how much investment is happening in urban allopathy hospitals and dispensaries in karnataka how much money is flowing into the infrastructure or how much money is going into the rural dialysis units in karnataka or training of auxiliary nurses and midwives you have been hearing this for the storm from the morning but how much money is going into training them it's very difficult to do that currently one needs to go through several pdf documents to call out the data it would look like something like this so for karnataka you get nine volumes of such document a pdf which is approximately 1000 plus pages so the data plumbing itself would take you months and you won't be able to create your arguments in time to actually cater the action required so what we are doing is we are we are generating csvs automatically from this pdf documents with the help of computer vision uh we are able to detect the table the blue uh blue line which you are seeing is suggesting that there is a big table and the green lines are suggesting that there are columns feeding this whole information into tabula a tool created by pro publica for mining pdfs to csvs and then we get something like this relatively clean machine readable information but still this is not very nicely suited for the needs of various researchers in india the budget codes are very distributed the information is hierarchical in nature put it up in the flat uh, csv and uh, all other fields are somehow difficult to consume but this is what you would find on our website we have put across all these csvs for karnataka as well as sikkim for which we are able to crack the codes what we now are doing is transforming this in a much more usable format the way we see our account statements you are now able to see similarly the account statements or states so this is how the transform csv looks like you have a very detailed coding there uh, most of the budget people can understand that part uh, it's the major had the sub major had minor had sub minor had uh, head and object had these are the six levels of hierarchy budget is being followed till the third level all the states are mandatory to have same codes but beyond that everyone can take their own uh, standard to produce data thus it becomes very difficult for us to uh, compare this data across the states beyond the third level of allocation till the third level uh, comptroller accountant general office has mandated uh, all the uh, state bodies to publish data so that they can track the accounts of the government easily so suppose we want to understand the investment on public health infrastructure in karnataka uh, so basically urban rural hospitals dispensaries and health sub centers so with the help of that file which i showed we are able to call out easily with the help of some basic calculations something like this i prepared it in a day so anyone who just knows basic information what they are looking for can have tools like this so from 2015 accounts till 2017-18 budget the revenue expenditure revenue expenditure is the ongoing expenditure and the capital is on on the assets and the liabilities the investment on the assets and the liabilities like land etc uh, so revenue expenditure has increased from 61.4k lakhs to 73.0k lakhs over the course of 4 years at least the budgeted amounts 
there is a big spike in the capital expenditure so once we have the data we can drill down and see what are the major causes of these uh, spikes and other stuff uh reason of this spike was in 2015 16 uh the union ministry uh invested some amount in establishment of kidwai memorial institute of oncology bangalore for cancer research uh in 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 karnataka so that's why we got a huge amount there and that got slightly decreased over the course of years similarly this is revenue expenditure on rural health sub centers community health centers hospitals and dispensaries in karnataka uh from 2014 15 accounts you see a sudden increase but still the amount is very less as compared to urban uh, urban hospitals and dispensaries and once you have this kind of data you can do per capita comparisons you can compare with other data sources which you get the number of hospitals the number of beds etc so you can marry this data with other sources to refine your analysis if you want to understand the investment on family welfare centers and trainings in karnataka how to go about that so asha accredited social health activist are local women trained to act as health educators and promote promoters in the communities she also act as depot holder for uh, essential provisions being made available to all habitations so it, this could be a one person you have to reach out if you need drugs if you need medicines for uh, for your health so asha are female workers working on the grassroots level the, on the most granular level then we have anganwadi workers who provide care for newborn babies and antenatal care for pregnant women ensure that all children below the age of 6 are immunized on time we have auxiliary nurses and midwives uh, anm is a village level female health worker in india who is known as the first contact person between the community and the health services anms are expected to be multi purpose health workers so generally under one anm there are 7 to 8 asha workers and few anganwadi workers working on a sub center level and then there are multi purpose health workers uh mpw or mhw uh male female uh their job is to deliver preventive and promotive healthcare services to the communities at level of sub health centers so so much debate is going on in this level because is the only level where male members actually touch base on the health communities in village and most of the people suggest that to have a better uh, women and child health we want more male workers to understand the nuances of it and there is a big crisis as of now that uh, most of the states are not able to fill the allocated seats they have for male multi purpose health workers in most of the districts let's see how the budget works so major investments on family welfare trainings in karnataka so if you can see 2015 accounts till 2017-18 budget the dark blue is in regional health and family welfare training centers the light blue is on training of auxiliary nurses midwives dadis and lady health visitors and the yellow one is centrally sponsored scheme for training of multi purpose workers mpw male so you can see the training component for mpw male has been the lowest allocated budget this could be one of the possible reason that male members aren't able to continue to the job they are expected to do also in terms of uh, centers there are three centers number one is the sub center it's the most peripheral contact point between primary health care system and community meant with one mpw female or an anm along with one mpw male and approximately a, a district have approximately 500 to 600 such sub centers primary health centers are a referral unit for six sub centers they are four to six bedded manned with a medical officer in charge and 14 subordinate paramedical staff these are the recommendations by ministry of health and family welfare 
The third one is a community health center. It's a 30 bedded hospital referral unit for four PHCs with specialized services. So suppose a person is suffering at a rural level. This is the kind of letter they would go through based on the kind of disease or kind of casualty they have. Now see, let's see the budget associated with it. So the rural family health centers in PHCs uh, get approximately 12 point K investments, which has been reduced in this year as compared to other years with a subsequent amount. <coughs> Similarly, the rural sub centers under family welfare have a reduced allocation, which we can observe easily. Uh, the urban welfare family centers have been the very lowest priority of the government when it comes to family welfare. Also, with the three key workers, we need to understand how they are reimbursed. So let's look into their salaries as well. Uh, this is honorium to Anganwadi and Asha workers in Karnataka. Uh, so it was like 9.k lakhs given in 2014-15 accounts, which got reduced in 15-16, uh, but it's now shooting up in 17-18. One important trend which I'm not able to cover in these graphs is our budget estimates in Karnataka especially very high. The revised estimates are also high, but there is definite underutilizations of budget, which could be seen from the accounts. So our, our accounts are always low as compared to our budget estimates and revised estimates, especially in, uh, in the case of family welfare. And the difference is more than like 30% on an average. So we are not able to properly allocate funds, which we have asked from the government on the ground. Currently, the data you are seeing is mostly in PDFs and, and the excels are difficult to consume. Like we don't have demand, demand for budget data as such. This is a common problem across India. So what we're trying to do is build something known as budget explorer so that people generate more appetite in consuming budgets. So here you don't need to download or look for the budget documents. You just need to type your keywords. For example, if you type hospitals and select the state, select the year, select the budget type and attributes, all technical features available, you get the total accounts for that particular query. We are trying to uh, imply uh, fuzzy search so that we can resolve problems like Sarvana Sikshana Abhyana and Sarva Siksha Abhyan so that people don't need to look for multiple spellings, multiple uh, permutations combinations. Uh, this is something which is still an ideation. We would start working on it. This will enable users to search specific things like rural dialysis units, AIDS prevention, tuberculosis, mental health projects, so on. We, we can track specifically these small indicators with the help of budget.